The best Zobo is the one you make at home because you know what's inside. Let me show you how I make this delicious Zobo. I'm starting by peeling a pineapple. I'm going to be adding all parts of this pineapple to my zobo. Not all parts, but the, the skin and inside of the pineapple. This is going to be my sweetener for my zobo. Over here you can see my zobo leaves, cloves, ginger, cinnamon, lemon, orange and pineapples. To prepare the zobo, I'm going to put everything into a pot. So the skin of the pineapple, make sure you wash your fruits <laughs> because you're going to be boiling this with the zobo. Also make sure you boil your zobo leaves. They're also called sorrel leaves or hibiscus leaves. Make sure you wash them. I'm putting the cinnamon stick, putting the ginger, the clove. If you want your zobo to be very, you know, like almost like peppery, add more ginger, add your lime to make it a bit tangy. I'm going to add some while boiling now, and I'm going to add some like later when I'm making up my zobo. So add some water, enough water, and then you bring it to a boil. So I'm going to boil it for about 30 minutes and that's it. We're going to leave it for a couple of hours. You can start the process in the morning and then finish it off at night time. So that way the zobo has had time to, you know, get mixed together in the pot and you can get all the delicious goodness from it. I'm not going to be adding sugar in my zobo, but I'm going to be using some watermelon, some pineapple, some oranges, a bit of lime to just sweeten it. And I have to tell you guys that this video was triggered by a video I saw on TikTok. Um, there was this guy, he went to buy zobo, he was looking for sugar-free zobo. And so he would always go to this lady that says her Zobo is sugar-free. On the bottle of the Zobo, it says sugar-free Zobo. So he would always, always buy it. One day he decided to ask her, Madam, I just want to make sure that like there's no sugar in this Zobo because you say it's sugar-free. And the lady was like, ah, just, I add just a bit of sugar so that it will be sweet. And he was like, what if I have diabetes and the reason I'm looking for sugar-free Zobo is has something to do with my health. You would have killed me with your fake <laughs> sugar-free Zobo. And that's an issue because some of these products are not properly regulated nobody's really checking if the ingredients in your product is correct so you guys that video triggered me and i'm like i have to share my zobo recipe there are just some foods you can make by yourself so that you don't have to always um buy somewhere else you get to know what is in your food it is the safest way to eat now i'm just going to sieve the zobo this is a few hours later the zobo is now cold it is thicker so we're just going to sieve it into a big bowl and what i like to do is to put this zobo concentrate into jars so it's kind of like meal prepping for me i put them into jars because they are really concentrated and we can use this for the next couple of days you just have to mix it anytime you want to use it. it's kind of like how you mix ribena so I'll just fill up the jars and then set it aside.
now i'm going to add some pineapple oranges lime watermelon to a blender and just blend everything away like i said this is what is going to sweeten your zobo um for some people they just add sugar or they add like fruit flavoring they sell that in the market but if you have fresh fruit why not use that a couple of businesses that sell these zobos they put all those flavorings so like i said you don't know what's in your food <laughs> it's only when you are there you can see what they're doing so if you can make your own zobo yourself your own not just zobo your own food yourself you get to know what is inside you get to control what you eat and you feel much more better a lot of people try to cut corners because fruit is expensive so instead of buying fruit for like 1000 2000 naira they would rather buy like a flavoring that is 50 naira 100 naira and then to you in your mind you are drinking healthy zobo you are no longer drinking minerals you're no longer drinking fizzy drinks but the additives in the zobo you are drinking is almost even worse than the minerals that you say you don't want to drink anymore like I said, when I saw that guy's video, it was really triggering. I reposted it on my TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me so that you can see you can see the video. Like his explanation of everything just made the whole thing funny. I will always advocate for home cooked food, which is why my cookbooks are always important to me. I always try to come up with cookbooks that will help you or anybody that's struggling to make their own food to help you become a better cook i have different cookbooks i have a soup cookbook nigerian cookbooks children cookbook you guys the link will be in my description box so that you can download my cookbooks they have amazing recipe and you can check on amazon also i have my cookbooks listed on amazon the link will be in my description box anyway our zobo is ready it is best enjoyed cold so i'm just going to put some ice in a cup imagine when you are coming out from a very long day on that is sun <laughs> you've been stressed out and you just come back to refreshing zobo it is honestly so refreshing to drink it is also very easy to put together if you don't want to blend your own fruits you can do the shortcut way but that way you still don't know what's in your zobo you can just get like pineapple juice or you can get orange juice or any other kind of juice and mix it together you can use other fruits like grapes maybe apples strawberries you can add any other thing that you feel can sweeten your zobo instead of you adding sugar directly but i hope you guys try this recipe i hope it works out for you if you do tag me on social media i would love to see it thank you for watching today's video i will see you in my next one bye